So again, I'm still here in the uh, in server booth. Uh, we're in the high availability of pod. I'm here with Andy. Andy, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Hi, sure. So I'm Andy Peace, and I work with the Zen Server team in Cambridge. So you're a developer in Cambridge for Zen Server? Uh, yeah, I'm actually a release manager for the Zen Server product. Okay, so, you know, you're talking about high availability, you know, obviously it minimizes downtime. You know, in your opinion, what's important about high availability to customers? Okay, so, so the key thing is that if, if you have a pool of Zen Servers and one of the hosts in that pool fails, then what this feature means is that um, the VMs running on that server will start up on other servers automatically uh, to make sure that your services continue to run uh, and have minimal downtime. All right, minimize downtime, minimize risk. Okay, yeah. so let's take a look at your demo. Okay, sure. So what we have is uh, two two Zen servers in a pool. Uh, so we've got protect uh, server A and protect server B, and uh, these are each running two VMs. Uh, so there's a Debian and a Windows on each one of these. So uh, first of all, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to pull out the power on this on this Zen server here. So that's now dead. Uh, so effectively simulated a host failure. Now um, it typically takes about 20 to 30 seconds in in this version to uh, for the VMs to fail over. And what we're going to see is that the VMs here, this one and this one that are running on uh, server B, are going to start up again on server A. Um, so whilst that's happening, I'll just just uh, talk a bit more about the feature. So uh, one of the things that uh, this means is that if you've got a, uh, a, a pool of Zen servers, then uh, with high availability enabled, um, if the master in the pool fails, then that will then um, uh, one of the slaves will automatically get promoted to master. So you'll also not lose the management capabilities of the pool either, uh, which is one of the other key features. Um, so you can see actually, so the, the error in the network uh, heartbeat has been detected, and in about five seconds or so, the storage heartbeat error will be detected as well. And then, in actual fact, you can see these VMs are already are already starting to move up to the uh, to the, the other server. So, um, and there you go. So you've got the uh, the, two, the error state shown, and then up in this corner of the screen, uh, you can see we've got a system alert that tells us that there's uh, been a failure in the pool. Okay, excellent. All right. So uh, thank you for your time, Andy. No problem. Good to see you.